Hello everyone. I have finally taken some time to go back through and start rethinking about the performance issues with my uh, ray casting engine that I've been building in C++ using SFML. And I uh, had gotten to a point in previous videos on my channel where I was showing, you know, being able to do like floors and ceilings, but I had a lot of performance problems. Uh, whenever I was drawing the floor and ceilings. Well, I have learned a little bit more and some tips and tricks, so I've been uh, just trying things out, trying to get things optimized. So I'm going to just go ahead and run and see where we're at now. And currently you can see we're running at a decent frame rate, um, well over 300 changes depending on you know again viewing distances all this kind of stuff that's got to see on the screen and it'll hop around some as well now let's go ahead and enable our actual wall textures which are there which is obviously going to drop us down a little bit but depending on what you're looking at the more a wall fills the space like this, you're going to get higher frame rates because the drawing is so much simpler to draw the, whole, the uh, vertical sl uh, slices of the texture, which I'm now using SFML's uh, vertice drawing using a textured quad, which helps performance as well. And again, when you're looking down big hallways and things, you're going to, you know, lose some frames because it's got more to do a little bit more work let's go ahead and turn on the floor now there we have floor and you can see a big consistent drop in frame rate now again when you can't see any floor it's better but this is still beyond better than it was before um, now here's the thing turn on the uh, ceiling as well it should be roughly the same and the reason is I'm doing basically the exact same thing for the ceiling as I am for the floor you can kind of see where the tiles on the floor and the ceiling look the same the ceilings just drawn uh, darker this saves a lot of computation uh, trying to figure things out but overall this is the best I've been able to get so far with drawing ceiling or floors or both um, just to show you again turning off the floor lay the ceiling on frame rate stays pretty much the same the uh, turn that back on so big improvements I also have gotten in now drawing uh, sprite objects sprites aren't really like the walls because the walls you need this perspective where if, if you've looked at like the old Doom or Wolfenstein and you've got sprites, they look like this. They're always facing you, basically, no matter which angle you look at it. Now, and again, the sprites sometimes, you know, they'll go, okay, are they looking this way? Well, let's show this sprite. But the idea is it's rendered very differently. No collision or anything because that's not really the point of the engine. That can be handled outside. But I've optimized this, and you can see, you could tell, you know, with or without it, frame rate really doesn't change all that much. But the, fright, the sprites are doing a uh, depth check for what's closest. They also do check for how much of it can be seen. That took me a little while to get working in a performance correct way, but I really like the result I got. Again, I'm using uh, quads, vertices in SFML, and then changing the texture for each point of the vertice instead of doing a bunch of individual pixels at a time which is extremely expensive computationally so yeah that's a big improvement um, things in the future I'm going to start looking into is currently my sprite class is just a simple object like this I want to make it a mostly designed to be inherited from class to where you can do your own logic for 
animated sprites, things like that. So that's a big thing on the list. Continued improvements for um, performance is just is a very big thing that I'm always trying new ideas. Currently, the window is at 640 by 480, but the actual Raycast engine is doing 320 by 240. And the bigger you get than that, you start to lose a lot of performance. In fact, I can show you that real quick, what that's like. Go ahead and turn off, uh, make it so it actually draws everything from the start. And let's, let's change the ray casting engine to do uh, 640 by 480, which is what the window is. Run that again. And again, when you've got walls filling up the screen, you're going to get pretty good performance because it's doing one stripe, so in this case, 640 stripes across. Uh, again, still working on performance, figuring out better ways to do that. But as soon as you start drawing the floor, you're going to get some major performance drop. I mean, at this point, you know, if your game was not movement-based like this to where you could like you know like say it's a simple game where you're only like stepping one square at a time there's some stuff you could do and this would actually be acceptable but in general right now this is not very acceptable at all and again that is primarily because of floor casting being I mean 120 something frames is, is beautiful so uh, another point along those lines well let's just see it the other way I believe it would be 160 and 120. This is really small. See what this looks like. Really grainy, as you can tell, except for the sprites, because the sprites are being done the same way. Uh, so let's just uh, leave that, turn the sprites off for a sec. Really fuzzy, really hard to see. But here's the interesting thing if this is still using the same textures, which in this case, I believe I am using the 128 by 128 texture. If you actually design your textures to fit this resolution, you can stylistically get it to look a whole lot better. I just haven't had time to really touch that side of things. Um, so let's go ahead and actually try a smaller texture. We're gonna comment out the 128 by 128 versions. I'm still deciding exactly how stuff like textures, you know, is that going to be handled by the Raycast engine, you know, who's going to be the boss of things. For now, it's handled by the map object, but that's subject to change in the future. So now I'm going to load 64 by 64 textures. And again, still fuzzy, a little bit better. Turn off the sprites. Pretty good resolution here. Um, this is... One of my performance boosts was changing how, with the floor casting and ceiling, how that's done. So now, the bigger your texture, the, the, uh, the more RAM you're going to eat up. It's just how it, it loads it all into memory and handles it that way. So here's, here's a, uh, another interesting test we can kind of look at. Let's go ahead and put us back to 320 by 240 because that's a kind of a decent middle ground performance wise and how it looks with my current textures that I'm using. Let's pop it back up and let's leave our floors at the 64 by 64. But let's go ahead and make our textures back to the, our wall textures 128 by 128. So the walls look much nicer, which, you know, honestly, you're spending most of your time looking at the walls. And that's the thing is, a lot of games, they, they do that for the floor and ceiling. They don't even care about texture at all. So, you know, depending on what you're wanting to do, you can get by with that. Me, it's just too flat. So, but, you know, you could do simple, simpler textures and maybe get a nice mix or, you know, maybe do that, one or the other. But this is using the 64 by 64 for the floor, which works pretty well for our floor because we don't care about it as much. And again, if you edited the texture a little bit, you get it to look a little less pronounced than that. Um, 
but it's still using the 128 128 for the walls which to me is a bit more important so but as you can see lots of improvements I'm still messing around with stuff and I'll try to be a little bit more active in posting videos on here as I start to figure things out uh, this has been a really fun learning experience. There's a whole lot better modern ways with our GPUs to be doing this in actual OpenGL 3D, but that kind of wasn't the point. I really wanted to be messing with this ray casting software-based thing. So, well, that's that. Uh, until next time, I'll see you guys later.